Hi everyone, thank you for joining me for a new video of item review. Today I'm going to reveal to you a new item that I purchased. As always, I enjoy opening the package and demonstrating you what's inside. So we're re revealing it together. Uh, right now it's quite a small package. And as you can see, the seller, how he sent it to me. Inside you have uh, cables and headphones. This is a USB cable, which you're supposed to plug it to the item, which in a second we're going to reveal what it is. Uh, it seems like the seller, he tried to uh, lower the shipment cost, uh, save them and make it as profitable for himself and cheap as possible for me. So uh, right now it's not in a box, it's just uh, a bit protected by those uh, bubble stuff. So this is what's inside the package, goes to the side and we're left with this Walkman, which in a second I'm going to tell you exactly what it is, the CD and the instructions, they are in English. Okay, this is it, and the USB cable and the headphones. Well, this item is a Walkman. It's a USB a Walkman. It can uh, be used as a normal Walkman, which we can listen to normal audio cassettes that no one uses anymore unless you're really old school. And also it can help you to convert those cassettes from analog signals to digital di signals, so you can use it as mp3s or audio wa wave uh, files or o other audio uh, files that you know how to convert and you're using. So as you can see it's inside the package, right now I'm going to uh, take it outside from it, it's not the package, it's only the nylon, you have also this thing, you have to uncover it, right now I'm going to leave it over on on this thing it's written in english super usb cassette capture auto reverse stereo hi-fi mega bass bass uh, over here you have play forward reverse or backward or whatever you call it and stop button uh, also you have a, a button to open this thing so when you uh, press it it's supposed to open to the side this is the mechanism of this thing it seems to you quite uh, it's old school or nice I'm not sure and that's it when you press the button this is the mechanism this is how it works it takes this thing down and it rolls on the tape you do reverse forward and stop so it takes the mechanism up uh, this thing not sure what it is I'm not going to touch it uh, what else can I say headphones you have a plug on the side for 3.5 millimeters volume up and down USB, you're supposed to connect this thing to the USB slot. Uh, over here from the other side, you have uh, where to plug inside the charger to make this thing work. So this is the device itself. I hope that you know how to use those cassettes. I still haven't sorted where you're supposed to put the batteries, I guess. Let's try to open it uh, again for a second and see if there is a uh, Oh, I understand what's happening here. Like if you're removing this thing, so you can put inside the batteries, those two batteries that we saw on the cover of it. So uh, I hope that we can uh, make it uh, work with the USB cable and there's no need for the uh, char uh, charger or the or to the batteries itself, but it's not a big problem. Like it's a small thing, it's a small issue as long as this thing works. So I'm going to make sure that it does work and convert one uh, tape and I will talk with you about the process itself right now I'm breaking my mind how to uh, bring this thing back to its place so bye for now so I've been using this device for several times and I have to tell you that it does exactly what it's supposed to do in a very good way I was really surprised from the outcome of the quality of the sound and uh, it does what it's supposed to do which is digitized analog uh, signals and to make uh, convert the, the cassettes into audio files uh, such as mp3 
wave etc it all depends on the software that you're using in order to convert the files and also you can always play like if you convert it into a specific file you can always play with the file and convert it with a different uh, software uh, or in the future you can play with this file uh, so what can I say about this cassette uh, tape uh, converter uh, it works either with batteries two double a batteries which are the most common batteries there are you have here a picture it shows you how to use them how to place them or the second uh, way which is the most convenient i think is using the cable that was supplied with the item when i re received it from the package from the seller and con connect it to the usb slot so it's a usb cable and it gives a power supply to the uh, a Walkman, I will use Walkman from right now, and uh, it plays remarkably, works pro, uh, ex excellent, and uh, you, do, you just have to be next to, near to your computer and not to go away because you can't be portable if you're not using batteries. Anyway, uh, you can use it as a regular Walkman, as long as you're using batteries, of course, or if you're next to the computer, near to the computer, you can listen to audio, uh, cassettes the old school audio cassettes by plugging this thing here with the headphones and listening to it uh, if you are a hipster or if you're into retro or you just like uh, old school so you would love to do that and revive the experience but i use it in order to convert old tapes and save space and uh, save those old memories uh, so next thing that I can say about that it's a plug-and-play device the moment you connect it with a USB cable you don't have to install any drivers in order for the computer to recognize it with a basic computer so it's supposed to recognize it and the most more advanced uh, software such as Windows 10 you won't have any problem with that uh, the CD that is supplied with this device it has softwares for PC and for Mac it's called audacity you can see that in the background and also the manual is in English and you have it as a file on the CD you can read everything but also it was printed when I took it out of the uh, cover that I received the, the package inside it there was also the manual if you recall in the beginning of this video and you have to go over it it takes you like 10 minutes 15 minutes and you realize everything like uh, they explain to you about the device itself but it's quite intuitive to work with this device and also they explain to you about uh, the software which is also it's quite intuitive it's not so complicated to use that now you have to define uh, the, the quality in the preferences you can play with the effects of the sound and you have to remember to press the record button while you're playing I'm going to demonstrate you in a different software which is called Audio Director 6 because I like this software I'm more familiar with that and I have to tell you that it works with other softwares such as Audio Director 6 uh, as long as it's a legit uh, software of course and you pay uh, good money for that uh, I'm going to demonstrate you with this old vintage album by Michael Jackson, Dangerous from 1991, 1992. It was a very big successful album and this is the cassette tape, the original cassette tape. I even remember that I won. I won it in a, in somewhere somehow and I got it as a present. I'm really happy about it. So for those who were born in the late 90s and uh, after that, I want to show you how to how it looked like a cassette audio cassette so this is side one this is side a side b you see this is the original like today you did you buy content from uh, itunes before that you used to buy uh, uh, cds and sometimes you also can still find vinyls uh, vinyl records but old cassette tapes it's something that is really like a dinosaur these days so this is the window you see the tape and these are two uh, uh, jogs which uh, I will show you how, how they work and here you can see the tape itself there was a joke that they, they give a cassette and pencil or a pen to children and they ask them what you're supposed to do with the pencil or the pen and the cassette so they don't know the answer the answer my friends is if it's stuck 
the tape and it goes out so you're using the pen you plug it here in order to roll it you even if you have uh, slim uh, fingers or long nails you can use that in order to play with the tape so this is what you're supposed to do and this is the old cassette tape it's a demonstration it's something that uh, it's very rare these days uh, it, children of today they don't know what to do with those things anyway this is the cover of the cassette and if you want today information about let's say movies you go to imdb if you want this uh, information about sounds you know you go to youtube or you search for the internet back then back in the days before the internet was were so uh, well known we had those things printed and it were it came with the the audio cassettes inside so you have the and the, the the lyrics who wrote it uh, who uh, produced the album list of songs uh, barcode and all those things that uh, this is like the cover of the album it was a very well album i have to say when we grew up like this was the soundtrack of the beginning of the 90s michael jackson it was his comeback back then uh, anyway so this is going back after i did the retrospective of the history of the cassettes for the children of the future i'm going to demonstrate you how you are using this walkman device converter you take the tape with the up side because this thing reads it when you play it goes down you put it inside okay one of the sides you have to switch sides uh, sometimes and then you press reverse so it takes it to the beginning all right now i'm going to change side because this is the side that is uh, will take me longer okay so you have a reverse and forward stop and play i'm doing reverse in order to take it to beginning of side a side one you see the the tape it goes over here and it's going to be st to stop in a second okay it stopped if you can see and this means that we are in the beginning of side a of the album today if you want to play song and to jump you just take the cruiser of the mouse and you jump along the, the sound here you have to do like this so i'm going to show you demonstrate you although it's a different software the concept is the same you have to define where you want to save it under which name which folder whatever and then you have to uh, define him that it works from the tape because it can either work from the microphone or whatever and then it's connected to the usb you have the volume you have to make sure the volume is uh, turned on because if it's going to be a uh, lower it might be there might be no sound or the signal of the sound it will be very low and then you have to uh, you will the record will be affected by that so i'm pressing the record button right now I'm pressing the play button and you can see that while it's working here this starts to work here you can see that the signals they go up if not it's going to happen in a second okay I'm playing with the jog okay so you see that it goes up this means that the tapes it starts to record right now the sound i can choose to hear what it records from my computer also or i can also uh, play the headphones play the music from the headphones if i connect them but i choose not to do that because i don't want to hear the sound right now and to uh, uh, the sound by michael jackson it's an original sound and if i play it from this video so it will uh, it's an original content and it will prevent me from uploading this video and from this video to be original content so i don't want to do that but you have to trust me when i tell you right now i'm playing with the jog you can see that the record goes down i bring it up sound goes back okay so you record that and when i choose to stop it will also stop here and then you press stop for the record button and that's it right now you can choose to hear this file you can produce it you can save it you can play with it you can convert it from one type of file audio file to a different type of audio file and that's it like this device it does the job 
it seems reliable uh, for the money that you uh, in, uh, can buy that. It's quite cheap. I remember I bought something very similar to that uh, several years ago and they sold it for so much money and today you can buy it from AliExpress for uh, uh, really cheap and uh, it's really nice that they did that. I'm really happy about it. I have, I still have plenty of audio cassettes to convert so uh, I'm really happy about it. You have to remember that the sound quality, it's not like CD sound quality but if you had good records and you know how to define it in the software uh, it's not supposed to be a problem to bring it to OK quality. It will never be like CD quality. You have to remember that. Uh, and that's it. Like if you have any more questions about this device, I would be happy to answer you. Uh, you can write it in the comments and I will do my best to come up with the right answer for that. I, I, I really uh, recommend about this uh, item, about this uh, Walkman USB cassette capture. Uh, I think it's a brilliant product to convert files, of course. And if you're a hipster also to listen to music, uh, you just listen for several seconds to the sound quality from this cassette uh, to the Michael Jackson cassette. And I have to say that it was astonishing, like the outcome. It's like I, re I was really surprised. Uh, anyway, I hope that this video was helpful and i hope that you like this video if so give it a like and share it with other people i invite you to subscribe to my youtube channel and also come up with uh, ideas for other video reviews that you want me to do in the future other items i really enjoy creating those videos for you so in the meantime thank you for watching this video bye bye